Hey guys, how's it going? Today I just want to do a review on the FLIR C2 Compact Thermal Imaging System. Now, I found a pretty good deal on this unit, and I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check that out. Now, lately my electric bill has been a little high, and I've been trying to find out, because um, I have a little older home, and I was trying to find out where the thermal links were coming from in my house, and I was looking for a good thermal camera um, to do this with, basically. I did quite a bit of research, and really everybody was saying if you want a good one that works well for a reasonable price, the C2 is really the way to go, and they're absolutely right. If you want the short version of this review, I absolutely love it. It works great, and I highly recommend it. The thermal imaging on this thing works absolutely amazing. It can tell you if you have water leaks in your ceiling. It can see if you have overloaded switches or dimmers in your wall. It can even see through your flooring uh, into ductwork and refrigerant, pipes, you name it. The, it really picks up. Uh, they've tuned this camera to work really, really good. It can see if you have insulation that's missing inside your walls, things like that. You can also change the sensitivity of the thermal camera to pick up even more harder to find things um, and kind of tune it to whatever you know you're you're looking for uh, in your home. It's got a three inch uh, touchscreen on it, which is very responsive and works really well, very similar to a smartphone. I don't use it for this, but I heard a lot of people actually get this camera for privacy. Like if you travel a lot, you can do bug sweeps for your hotel room. If you're a little bit paranoid, I tend to be sometimes, but I haven't used it for that yet. Um, it can detect any kind of electricity current, like heat signatures generated through things like that. So if you're worried about that, it works really good for things like that. But you'll really be amazed when you go through your house and find out what things are really generating the most heat. Um, so if you turn those things off, you know, you'll save a lot. Believe it or not, it all adds up on your electric bill. Um, I mean, one example is you know, I switched recently from uh, incandescent light to LED lights. And I couldn't believe uh, my electric bill went down a good $30, $40 a month um, just from the reduced heat and also the reduced electricity used. But any, anyway, all in all, I really love the C2. I highly recommend it. If you guys have any questions about anything I missed or anything like that, just leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.